I'm not going to eat today, so I'm going to She's playing a video game. She shouldn't be playing it, though, really. But she don't get no phone time. Yeah, because I she, me to miss And what are you going to do tomorrow? Say sorry. That's right, she is. She's going to apologize to her teacher tomorrow. Mm-mm. Okay, she picked out the Nutcracker today to read. She was excited it came from Chick-fil-A. Is it Chick-fil-A or Chick-fil-A? It's Chick-fil-A. Okay. Once there was a little girl named Claire whose family was having a wonderful party on Christmas Eve. There was a beautiful Christmas tree and lots of delicious food. Clara ran back and forth to the front door to welcome the guests. Merry Christmas, she said, as each one kissed her on the cheek. Then they all went inside to dance and eat and open their Christmas presents. The last to arrive was Clara's godfather, Herr Doslamar. Dos all the children loved him very much because he was such a wonderful storyteller. Claire thought he could even perform magic. Merry Christmas, Claire, he said, handing her a heavy package. Merry Christmas and thank you, Claire cried, lifting a large wooden nutcracker from the wrappings. He looks like a very brave soldier, she said, and so he is. Her dose el Meyer replied. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Just then, the musicians began to play a lively tune, and all the grown-ups joined together to dance. Claire carried her nutcracker over to where her cousins and friends were all playing with their new dolls. She held him very carefully and hummed a soft Christmas carol. All of a sudden, Claire's little brother, Fritz, jumped up from behind the sofa and grabbed a nutcracker away from his sister. No, Fritz, no, Claire cried, chasing him. Soon all the children were after Fritz, but the nutcracker was very heavy. And Fritz was very little boy. The nutcracker crashed to the floor and broke. Sadly, Claire picked up her injured nutcracker and showed her him to Hare. I'm not going to say his last name. I'm just going to say Hare. Why, Claire, he said, trying his tying his handkerchief around the nutcracker's broken jaw. Many good soldiers get hurt in battle. This will be as his bandage, and you will be his nurse. And wiped her tears away and handed the nutcracker back to her. Claire was very good little nurse. She gently tucked the nutcracker into the doll's bed she received as a Christmas present. She stayed by his side. And look, we got a light. Yeah, we've got a new video light. Uh, yeah. Ring light for the videos and stuff. Yeah, we do. Can I read? Yeah. She stayed by his side until all the guests had gone home. Then she kissed him goodnight and went to bed. <laughs> For yes, the book from Chick Fil A. I done told him that. But Claire could not stop thinking about her nutcracker. She backed downstairs. She crept and lifted him from the little bed. Then she curled up on the sofa and fell asleep with her nutcracker in her arms. While Claire was sleeping, her those little Meyer came into the room. He quietly took the handkerchief off the nutcracker's jaw and gently waved it over Claire and the nutcracker. Suddenly, the nutcracker changed into a handsome prince, standing guard over Claire while she slept. Mm. Later that night, Claire woke up. Oh my goodness, she cried. For tremendous mice were running all over the room. Then she saw her nutcracker, who was now a handsome prince. He was bravely fighting a mouse that was wearing a crown on his head. 
Leave him alone, shouted Claire at their wicked mouse. She jumped off the sofa and pulled the mouse's long tail. The mouse became so frightened that he ran away with all the other mice squeaking after it. Thank you for your help, said the prince, picking up the crown, which had fallen from the mouse's head. I would like to invite you to the land of sweetness to all my friends, so all my friends can thank you too. The prince placed a crown upon Clara's head and her nightgown became a beautiful dress that sparkled and shimmered. <clears throat> Together they stepped outside, the fallen snow whisked around them in a pretty white dance, carrying them to the land of sweets. It is kind of a pretty dress. Everyone living in the land of sweets was named after delicious things to eat. When the prince and Clara arrived, he told his friends all about the battle with the huge mice and how Clara had saved him. Hooray for Clara, they all shouted. Then they carried Clara and the prince over to the two beautiful candy cane chairs. The people of the land of Swiss performed beautiful dances for Clara and the prince. The first to perform were the candy canes wearing red stripes, then a then a dainty sugar plum fairy dance with a soldier. The Jew drop fairy gracefully twirled before them, followed by many little angels with tiny wings, even a flower dance in the land of sweets waving their pretty petals. Clara's favorite dancer was Mother Ginger. She wore a big wide skirt and underneath it were six little children. They all danced out and took each other's hands dancing together in a circle. So. Laughing and skipping when their turn was over, they scrambled back under Mother Ginger's wide skirt. When all the dancers were finished, Clara and the Prince stood up and clapped and clapped. That's a very big skirt for to have them kids to bonery dance. Uh, excuse me. I think it's time for us to go, the prince said, but we will come back to the land of sweets very, every Christmas Eve from now on. And then he called for his sleigh, which was drawn by two reindeers. After waving goodbye to their friends, Clara and the prince flew off together into the early morning sky, home to, home to a very merry Christmas. Addison's doing the bubble wrap. She's popping the bubbles off the bubble wrap. Ah.